So, new video about the realization of the biker pants. This time I didn't create them from zero, but they had a head a pattern as this. So this is the pattern I use. I made just a few uh, few modifications, like here on the knees. I had two seams, and I had the zippers and the pockets here on the back. Uh, so I used a uh, one meter and twenty for one meter and a half of this full leather, quite thick. The inside is in this way very very soft. Then I used four uh, zippers, two on, two on the legs are long 15 cm and the two on the bottom at the bottom are 13 cm. Then I cut four tangles of padding, 11 cm for 20 and I use two layers on each leg and then I cut I used two rectangles of lining that had the same measures of course 11 for 20 and then I used another zipper here on the back that is 20 centimeters or 18 18 centimeters 80 centimeters of elastic band and a grow grain uh, ribbon on the back under the zipper so this is the frontal right leg uh, complete with the padding on the knee the zipper above and the um, ins lateral insertion sewed so first of all I have to sew the padding, I use this uh, kind of cotton wool and not the foam uh, because I didn't find it and uh, on it I, I sew this uh, rectangle of lining. I make a simple seam as I did here following these landmark lines so actually uh, the seams are a little bit crooked uh, but of course it's my fault then I gonna sew the zipper under the padding on the right I did it above and I decided to include the zipper even if it's not in the extraction but uh, I like it so I wanted, you have to be careful because here I cut to, uh, cut the cloth too longer, so I had to add this little piece of cloth to cover the hole. The last step is to sew the insertion here on the side and the most uh, mm, difficult part is the angle and then I sew again the edges um, of course you have to be careful to not pierce too much leather or the full leather full leather or the holes will remain uh, for example I, place, I placed just two pins at the most externally here for the padding I didn't uh, pin the zipper and I basted the insertion with very long stitches.
is only right if something comes good, like the seams of the padding that are quite uh, parallel, parallel, parallel. Something comes awful, like the zipper. Anyway, now it's the turn of the insertion here at the bottom. the side of the pants and I sew the zipper at the uh, bottom then I added a, a sewed a pocket on the back even if it's not it's not in the original project
Now I have to sew the inner side of the leg. This is the left leg and this is the right of course. I follow the mark stitches and here on the thigh, thigh the measure are, is correct but here on the calf and the ankle I had to take it in uh, of the pants so I put a leg with the wrong side outside and then I leave the other one with the right side outside I put this one in this and I pin together the crotch and then when I sew it I go from the front to the back to the mark here where I have to sew the zipper band uh, to the belt of the pants so I mark with a pin where I have to make coincide the elastic band with the seams and I let I let and I let it pick out uh, one centimeter from the border
are that I'm not really really satisfied because the uh, work with the weather was really hard and I made a lot of awesome scoops like here on the knees and I saw the zipper on the side a little bit crooked too and the pockets on the back are a little bit cool. And of course, as always, uh, the pants are a little bit too large, but I think that I can fix it with a little piece of elastic band. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, subscribe to my channel, put a thumbs up, and comment down below. Thanks for watching.